Welcome to Crazy Towns. 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, no, Mike. Let's start the timer. Ba-ding. TNT. You. Uh, have you ever went out of your way to try to get the intention of a company you're trying to work for? Like, you hadn't worked there, but you're like, you know, I really want to work here. I want to, like, catch their attention. No. Actually, no. I've no? never taken employment that seriously, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like, I always feel like I have to have a job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. But I've yeah. never been like I've never been on unemployment either. Um, I one time, mm-hmm. uh, when I finished a call, my college degree, I took the time, I set up a macro and wrote a letter and filled out the information and I printed it out on very nice paper envelope, mailed it out <laughs> to every single professional baseball, basketball, football, and hockey team. Really. Uh, and I got, so I have a ton of like rejection stuff from them back in the day. Cause like they weren't interested, but I did have one guy call me from the Atlanta Hawks and he said, Hey, I saw you sent this letter out to us. He goes, I think that's really cool. Let me ask you a question. Did you do this for every single team? And I said, yes, sir. <laughs> sure did. And he was like, that's impressive. He goes, if I want to offer you an opportunity to come down to one of our sales symposiums down here in Atlanta. Okay. So he wanted me to come down to Atlanta to yeah. some like schmoozing conference to try to get a job in sales with the Atlanta Hawks. Okay. And like at the time I just wasn't able to like go to uh, Atlanta to do it. Yo, so you, that's an opportunity. Yeah. That's yeah. a foot in the door. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, I still like, I, it did work. I just couldn't like take time to it but i feel like i feel like there was something weird about it like i had to pay to go to it or something mm. and, and i'm like yeah something about it rung me wrong and but i did get an email from a couple other people that were like hey we don't have anything right now but like you know hit me up in the field i think the dallas mavericks are one of them huh. um it did not work but it, i was like oh it was cool i, I at least tried right like yeah, who knows yeah. and uh, but the reason i bring that up there was a lady who wanted a job at nike nike and what she did was she printed her resume on a cake and then had an, and then had Instagram, not Instagram, Instacart deliver it to Nike's headquarters. And they, she took, and what it said was the Instacart driver even helped her out the extra mile. She took it herself into the building, waited for the right person to come down and get it from her. And the guy was like, uh, Wow, that's the kind of forward thinking we need here at Nike. And uh, I guess now they're in talks about her trying to get a job there, which probably she won't. Probably she sucks. No, yeah, yeah. There's probably a reason they weren't calling her back, right? Yeah. Why do you want to work at Nike so bad? But I mean, because you want the check. Right. Why does anybody want to work anywhere so bad? Why do you want to work at any football, basketball, hockey, or whatever the F? Because I love sports. Hey, you wanted you know, the check. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. But they were like, oh, yeah, we'll give you oh, an yeah, internship. That's what he wanted me to do sales. It wasn't even sales like selling advertising. It was like selling season tickets. I'm like, no. bro, that's not. I want that, you, yeah, I want you to work the for, phones. That's working for the Hawks, but not working for the Hawks. Yeah, they want you to work the phones. I think that's what it was ultimately. It was like, yeah, you can come down and be one of our season ticket salesmen. I'm like, bro, I could do that in Cleveland if I really yeah. wanted to. But, anyways. Um, Sounds like a But, yeah, dude, I thought that was kind of an ingenious. She, yeah, she had her, her resume printed on a cake. It is a good idea. It's definitely a good idea. The problem is, I don't care enough about no. working anywhere. No, no, I don't care enough for all of that. I, I will say is that sometimes me um, having a rapport with somebody, like I've definitely worked with an individual who uh, later left a company I was working for, but because me and that person got along so well while they were working at that one place, they immediately hired me for like an upgraded position. When they got a upgraded position at a new place, they were like, oh, look, I'm the boss here. So guess what? I really like the way you handle things and you took really good care of this person when they were there. So I'm going to bring you on staff and we're going to give you this raise and we're going to yeah. give you this position. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> it really keep... is about who you know. <clears throat> it is. A hundred percent. So I guess if you want to call that going the extra mile, but I always try to do, you know, whenever I work a job, I always try to go as far as I possibly can. Um, I'm not a quiet quitter. No, no, no. Me I'm neither. not a quiet quitter. I, uh, you know, and here's my, here's my, my mantra, I guess it. I'm 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 at work to work. It's more work to not work at work yeah. than it is to just go and work. Agreed. Because you go like and you work, time goes by fast. You're like, oh wow, 
Day's over. But if you're just screwing off all day, you're like, oh, my God, is this ever going to end? You're like, just work. <laughs> work takes the time away. <laughs> it makes time go yeah. by fast. Yeah. yeah. So I've never understood the like. What, what would be your dream job, Jonas? Uh, being a radio host. Okay. Yeah, dude. If I could do like a three hour, four hour radio show every day. That would be the best thing for me. Thousand okay. percent. I would love that. Okay. Because because a lot of times those those uh, it's actually actually interesting. I've looked it up for the podcast before, but I'm never going to pay for it. And I know that this is how some of them do. They, there's news aggregator services that you don't. So like if we if we had a four hour radio show, you would use like a news aggregator, and then they you pay them money, and they just send you the hottest headlines. Mm -hmm. So you just like walk in and boom, you got a stack of shit you every gotta, morning. You're just reading copy. Yeah. They're just, here's a news story. Bring this up. Talk about it. Here's a news story. Bring this up. Talk about it. And then people call, dude, I would love the fact of like people calling into the show, people emailing, texting, Twittering, and having that feed, that live feed of people watching and interacting. Dude, that would be awesome. I agree. I would love it if we could get like a live caller reactions while we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like podcast. doing Twitch live and people are like, it's almost like Twitch, but like, I would love yeah. to be on the radio. I would love to, to have like a, a designated audience that could call us and we could just have conversations with them. Right. That would be super fun, dude. I like I would, so. I would love that. Or like, cause then when, if you're like a radio show, like host, you can do things like, Oh, I want to put on this event. And like you're on the radio, so people know about it. You get to talk about it in your show. So like, if you want to put on like a concert and like have some, you know, you can do those sort of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. like event plan and do all, have a golf outing, have a whatever. I wonder if there's a way that we could have like a, a designated line, like of course on like a prepaid phone or something. Yeah, yeah. And then we could have a designated time that we could put the call out to our to the people who actually do listen to this program yes. and have them call during that designated time where we could both be available, have yeah, that, well, and then we, to splice it into we episodes. We have tens of thousands of listeners, so I mean like... Hundreds of thousands, Yeah, I mean, I'm sure all we have to do is put a call out and we could have anyone call. We're going to look into it. I don't care what you say. Yeah. I still think it's a good idea. I, I like the idea. We'll look into it. Well, I mean, like, we could just start doing Twitch live and let people call in. You, you don't want to do Twitch. I mean, that's Twitch. the same thing. You don't want to do Twitch. We used to do Twitch. You, we? We? We did the show live on Twitch for a whole season. Okay. Did you forget that? I did. You were the one that wanted to end because your cheeks hurt, bro. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> if you had a more comfortable chair, I'd <laughs> be fine. Yeah, that, that. I mean, yeah. I mean, now it's con now the schedules are conflicting. It wouldn't really work, probably yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I thought that was great. Like, yeah. I thought that was fun. But yeah, that would be probably my dream job. I, I would feel like that's, I would feel like, I mean, all the other crap that went into it would be tons of work, but that yes. would be my, I get paid to practice moment where like I get yes. paid for everything else. I do the show for free. Okay. What about you? Uh, wow. I have a couple of these. Okay. Um, my number one would be a porn star. Okay. Number two. I mean, you can do that. No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think anybody wants to see this. I mean, look at it, Jonas. Listen, look, they block, take a good they block look at the me. top half of the guy off anyway. I'm going to stand up, Jonas. Okay, I'm standing up. Look at this. Oh. Does anybody really want to see? Look. Absolutely. All right. I'll rest my. No. No. <laughs> Are you saying you want to? No, I don't want to. I could just sell do. videos straight to you if you like. <laughs> Got number, a new one, J Dog. Are you ready? Give me 20. Number two, uh, marijuana tester. <laughs> marijuana tester. <laughs> Is that a job? Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, number three, uh, probably, uh, you know, what I, what I do now is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That's cool. cool uh, that. I also, I, I would like, if I could work as, if I, okay, if I had the talent, which I could probably hone, but if I like today could get paid to do stand up comedy, like and do hour long oh, specials and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, I yeah. would do that in a, in a second too. Like entertaining, like radio show would be cool, but stand up comedy would be very fun. Yeah, I'd like to write. I'd like to write lyrics maybe for like a musician. I'd like to be a ghostwriter for Drake. That oh, would okay. be great. I, I mean, there's enough of them. So wow, I'm sure he's. In, I'm sure he's I'm Drake, sure he's that was the... not dynamite. I did not say that, Mister Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, come at me. Let's have it. Let's have beef on the show. No, you don't. <laughs> There's joke. no way you'd be able to contend. He no. He get on the show and I'd be like, Mister Drake, I just did that to get you on the show. I respect your ability, oh, sir. Oh man, just total backtracking. Oh, absolutely. I'd be you like, know. dude, I love your song X Y Z. He doesn't have a song named X Y Z. I know that. Oh, I was, that was fill in the blank. I would oh, just, I would okay. just schmooze him. Thought I'd start naming to... off his tracks. I'd mm -hmm. be like the one that you wrote yourself very well called oh. called uh, One Dance. I like that one a lot. 
called One Dance. I like that. He has a song called One Dance. He does. <laughs> All right. Don't, don't. This is more the way you said it. <laughs> I would, I it's would never super, the words you say. I, it's the way I you say them. I would be super white about it. He'd be like, your song One Dance, Mr. Drake, is really good. I like the vibe <laughs> of that, sir. Hips and anyways, he, fun ways, fun I love ways, that song, by the way. Uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com, subscribe for Jonas. Okay, TNT. We out.